pinky brain. Lot of gang, lot of bitches in the icy chain. Why you claim that you rich? That's a false claim. I be straight to the whip, no baggage claim. Whole lot of styles, can't even pronounce the name. You ain't got no. Hey you guys, welcome back to Taylor XO or welcome to Taylor XO if you're a new subscriber. So y'all, let's get into this video. So I don't know if you guys had seen Nika uh, had posted a post yesterday basically saying pray for her daughter on a community post and it raised a lot of questions. People were wondering what had happened, you know, because she does have six daughters. So it could have been a number of things that happened to any of her six daughters. You guys also know that her three-year-old daughter Kira just went and got a heart procedure so I'm pretty sure when she said that a lot of people were thinking like did something happen to Kira you know with her heart procedure but in fact something had happened with Naya and she came on here to say that Naya had uh had an 18-wheeler had on and she was in critical condition and saying that she was in the hospital or at some point I know somebody even said that Nika said that she was in the trauma center so y'all let's get into this clip this was the video that she first posted after she posted on the community post basically explaining what happened to naya and then we will get into it well please listen to your parents okay um i'm praying for recovery for her as well surgery has to be done is major um grandma just left here and it's hard for me to say okay it's fine because I knew she was tired. I said in my first video, I said, now you're tired, lay back down, go to sleep. She been up since yesterday afternoon. She had an iced coffee. She didn't go to sleep yet. I've been outside cleaning the yard. Here go grab my pulling up. She had an 18 wheeler head on. What is going on? She's in critical condition. So, I mean, you never know when something can happen in, in life. Like you never know when something can happen. So I'm trying my best now to get my kids belongings packed up and we're going to head up there and check on her make sure she's okay. Mama's there. I got some um, family members that's there that's going to be up there with her too as well. They fly her off now. She is alive. She is breathing. But at the same time, she's in critical condition. Like, pray for my family at this time. I'll be off the internet for a little bit until um, everything comes back to recovery with her. Um, I was outside cleaning the yard. I'm tired. I'm hot. I'm drained. But I just wanted to drop this little clip to y'all. And y'all um, pray for Nyat this time. I just dropped my first YouTube video earlier today when uh, me and the kids was cleaning because I know it was like 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. She didn't make it home yet. So y'all heard in the clip, she started explaining how Naya was uh, tired the previous day. She was up all day and all night. And then she said she got up that morning around 7 or 8 o'clock and she was headed to an interview. And she said that she told Naya, you know, you're tired. You need to stay home, get some rest. You can stay home with me. And, you know, people don't know... The background to you know naya and nika you know naya and nika are you know they look like somewhat a close they have a close mother and daughter relationship you know nika relies on naya to do a lot help her take care of the kids she uh makes her keep a job so she can help her pay for bills so i feel like it's a lot of stress on naya you know she just recently had a health scare and they told her that she couldn't work during that time. But, you know, Nika has been throwing hints around for days and days since she's, you know, had that house scare, basic, basically saying that, you know, she's struggling with bills, she needs money. And, you know, I guess they're only relying on Nika's one YouTube income as as of right now so you know she's been on naya's heels stressing her like you know they need money she needs to get back to a job so i guess naya felt that you know she needed to get back uh get this interview done get back to her job so you know the story gets very weird because she said that she was just outside cleaning and that's when naya's grandmother showed up uh earlier in the day and said that naya had just had hit an 18 wheeler head on and, you know, a lot of people are raising questions because they were wondering, like, why isn't Nika down at the hospital? She's saying that Naya is in critical condition. She said that everybody was spazzing out and they were down there. But people are wondering, like, sis, why aren't you down there? I mean, y'all remember that health scare that Naya had that I was just talking about. Nika was right down at the hospital that night. It happened, I think, if I remember. So people are wondering why she wouldn't be down there, you know, claiming her daughter hit an 18 wheeler her head on. She's in critical, in critical condition. Any mother would be racing down at that hospital the second they got the call. But, you know, a lot of people are wondering, like, if she hit a 18 wheeler head on, like, how did she even make it out of this accident? I mean, I know there is some people who may have, you know, or not much that I heard of, but have been in uh, a head on collision with an 18 wheeler and survived. But, 
you know, being the little small SUV that Naya had and, you know, I'm sure Naya drives pretty, you know, I'm sure she's not driving under 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour. So people are wondering, like, you know, is she OK? Did she survive? So after that, there was a comment that was left under one of Nika's video when she came back to do the update uh, on Naya and, you know, tell how she's been doing. And somebody commented something beneath the video and there was a few people calling around to see, you know, if Naya was in fact in the ER because a few people that live in the area said that they didn't hear anything about uh, an 18 wheeler collision. And people were calling around to emergency rooms, I guess, trauma centers. And then, the, and then there was this one comment that people were raising their eyebrows about. So the comment had ended up saying, I was calling to send anonymous flowers to the hospital for Naya Nika. The receptionist said Naya was in the emergency room waiting with major injuries. I don't know why someone would lie like this when so many people die in car accidents every day. Nika, I pray that one day you will find some peace in your life because you don't understand how powerful your tongue is. You can be speaking that situation on your own life or other people around you. I hope your bookies wake up and see how far you are willing to get views. Still going to pray for Naya because hopefully this doesn't happen to her for real. So, you know... People were actually calling the hospital and they were getting this information. Now, I heard a few people weren't able to get through because obviously, you know, hospitals are, I guess, picky about who they give information out to. You know, anybody could call and say they're anybody and, you know, they could give information out and, you know, possibly the situation could go from there. So for Nika to think that, you know, people weren't able to find out that it in fact wasn't you know no critical condition i mean in fact naya was hurt she ended up posting this short also after she ended up posting the update video careful i'm gonna touch it because it's broken and it's still pouring out so as y'all seen in that short, obviously, you know, Naya was talking back when Nika was talking to her. She seemed like she knew what was going on. She knew, you know, where she was at. She seemed like she was good enough to hold a good few conversations. So for Naya to say that she, I mean, for Nika to say that she was in critical condition when I don't think that anybody who just got hit head on with the 18 wheeler is in the hospital hours later holding whole conversations. Obviously, you know, something did happen. You could see that she did have the bandage bandages on her and she was bleeding but it obviously wasn't uh as serious as nika tried to say and as that comment said you know if it, if you knew that it wasn't that serious why would you come on and try to portray something like that when you know we always hear you know you could speak things into existence just lying like that you know you could say oh well you know, uh, some so and so just got shot or whatever, and the whole time they didn't get shot. But you know, you could end up getting shot just because you spoke that into existence, saying those type things. Like that's just so weird. And why would a mother even want to speak that type of you know for something bad like that to happen on their child like that? It's just so weird. And a lot of people were saying, you know, this had to be for cash apps, or she had to be needing some type money to where you know she wanted people to send things and send her some money because she did say previously a few days ago that you know she didn't have any money and she was money was funny around there as she always says and so you know it makes sense how she went on to take a little situation and make it into a big situation so you know she could get a few dollars out of it so even in this clip when she came back to do her uh video when she was filming in the lobby uh, she was saying that they didn't have any money to get back home. They had no money for food, so she had to stay up at the hospital. And it's just like, sis, where is your baby daddy at? You have these 10 kids. You're stuck at the hospital. You say you have nobody to watch the kids. You said that your oldest son was the one that was watching the kids while you went back and forth with the kids and Naya. And it's just like, you know, where is this baby daddy at? You know, you have these 10 kids that are all on you. And it just seems like this girl puts no pressure on him to do a bit of anything. But before we get into that, I'm going to go into this clip because she starts explaining how the condition of Naya was critical. But see, this girl, she's so dumb. She thought that, I guess, because, you know, she said that Naya's bone was sticking out of her arm. Yes, that is a critical situation, sis, but she was not in critical condition. Critical condition is when it's a life or death situation. You know, you are on life support. You know, you could go, you could live, you know, it's it's either or. But 
I guess she took because Naya had maybe a critical arm can you know a, a arm injury. She just took and took it and ran with it and came up here just to say she had a critical condition and it was two different things. But knowing how Nika is, you know, she can't articulate anything. She can't really explain anything. So, you know, that's how it sounded. And, you know, people took it and ran with it. And that's why you don't say certain things if you don't know what you're talking about. So let's get into this clip, y'all. And then we'll wrap up the video. Back to the surgery room. Um, so we down here waiting, patient, because the kids cannot go upstairs. I don't have nobody to watch the kids. So I got to bring the kids with me. Um, Papa outside, so he's in and out watching them while I'm going up there. Whenever the doctor say I can go back up there. Chilling with Sai. Right. We don't have money for food or gas, so we got to stay up here all night. Um, it's hard, so you know, like with no money, no nothing, I'm just making it work the best way I know how, and I'm not gonna sit up here and trip about it because God always make a way, so we'll make it back out that road somehow. I gotta stay here until after she goes to surgery and everything goes well. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, I know she's doing okay. Um, she gotta go into surgery soon, and it is critical. I couldn't show everything, but she said it was okay for me to record her arm and let y'all see her arm. Um, the bone is out of her arm completely. They have to put the arm, put the bone back in her arm, push it back in and stitch it up. It's bust open to the meat. And um, it's really bad. It's so that was that on that. She did say that Naya's car is totaled. And she also said that, I guess, she was speaking on some insurance stuff, saying that her insurance is going to be sky high. And people were saying, like, sis, why is that even any worry in your mind, you know, your daughter's bone is hanging out of her arm. Why are you concerned about insurance going up or, you know, her car being totaled or about her job? Like, sis, that, that should be the least of your concern, concern. You should be worried about your daughter being okay, you know, making sure she has a safe recovery and, you know, everything goes fine, but not Nika. It's always about her and making sure that, you know, she's fine and she's not having to do too much work. And that's just how it always is with her. But I also wanted to include in one more thing. Now, somebody had posted this news article because I know a lot of people were trying to search up news articles because obviously, you know, if this was supposed to be an 18 wheeler collision, you know, you would have thought that this would have made tele or television or uh, there was some type of news report about it. But people couldn't really find anything. And it was, in fact, not on the news. But obviously, because it wasn't, you know, what Nika said it was, that's why people couldn't find anything on it. But I ended up finding this uh, that somebody had ended up posting that they thought maybe it was the news article. So it was saying that... Uh, there was a Columbia, South Carolina uh, traffic on Interstate 77 involving a collision or again after a collision involving a tractor trailer causes backup for hours Tuesday. The collision was at I-77 South and the patrol said a, tra tra a tractor trailer was flipped over blocking all lanes but no injuries were reported. So maybe they were talking about there were no injur injuries reported on the truckers end but there was you know obviously injuries with Naya so maybe that was that I don't know, but, you know, a lot of people had some theories like maybe was Naya uh, intending on getting in an accident because, you know, she has been going through a lot of things with, you know, Nika and having all this responsibility put on her. You know, people were saying that she fell asleep at the wheel. Was this her fault? So people were trying to put, you know, things together and two and two together. But obviously, you know, we don't know. There could have been a lot of things that, you know, could have happened. Uh, maybe Naya will speak on it herself. Maybe not. Maybe Nika will. But we know that Nika lies so much that we kind of have to hear from Naya. Because at this point, sis, when you came on to say that a whole 18-wheeler hit your daughter head on, and in fact, that really wasn't the case, you know, uh, I don't know if this was the article or not, like I said, but, you know, possibly uh, there was no way that Naya survived a 18-wheeler collision. There was no way. Um, so, and she just walked out with a broken arm with a little bit of bone sticking out of her arm. So comment down below what you guys think about Nika deciding to, you know, come to the internet and make these serious accusations when in fact, you know, that was not the case. So comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for another one. Woke up the morning, can't remember nothing Cause bitches just flowing from London And I think I remember they calling me daddy The mansion was covered in money Went to sleep with my jewelry and chains on Had to wake up and recount the money
I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Coop with the kid, cop it. Got to. Pull up with a stick, stop it. Stop it. Rich nigga shit, stop Rich nigga, oh, honey, fuck his riding. Got it. I go to space with the stars. Star. I smoke a blunt on my pilot. Saturn, moon, earth, and Mars. NASA take off with the rocket. Half a million on the necklace. Half. No rich nigga, we successful. Say she wanna feel special. What? And Coco make her feel special.